In this video, I am going to share sa'yo what are the things na you need to check sa isang lifeboat kung ikaw ay isang third officer or maybe potentially pa lang na magiging third officer. Probably you are a deck cadet or maybe you are a deck rating watching my video right now. So in this video, we'll check okay, or we'll study what are the uh, things na you need to assess okay, when you are inspecting your lifeboat. Now, this video is regardless mo kung anong type ng lifeboat meron ka sa barko, whether free fall or pwedeng uh, launch by David, okay? Kahit ano, kahit anong types ng lifeboat, okay? So, let's get started. Okay, the first thing na you need to check, okay, sa iyong lifeboat is, well, number one, you need to have a, well, yung hull mo, your hull is in good condition, okay? No deter no deterioration, okay? Let me say it one more time. No deterioration in way of bearing surfaces. Okay? Kailangan walang basag yung fiberglass, walang basag yung iyong uh, lifeboat, okay? Kasi minsan kapag ka ini-stow po ang lifeboat, hindi po namamalaya na ay may crack pala banda dito sa let's just say sa may bandang propeller. Ay may crack pala banda dito sa starboard side. Ah, uh, dito sa dito sa starboard aft. Ay, may crack pala dito. So, again, you need to check. Again, pwede rin naman sa overhead. Okay, you have to, te uh, to check then as well na walang basag yung uh, salamin. Okay, or yung partition on. Kasi may salamin tapos yung fiberglass. Okay, you have to check then na walang crack or leak yung uh, fiberglass mo do yung, uh, yung fiberglass doon. Okay, so again, no cracks in hull and buoyancy tanks or corners of, of thwarts. And if required, all cracks repaired by approved means. Okay? Again, kung ba required mo na i-repair, okay, nabasag man yung fiberglass, at least, eh, dude, acceptable pa. Meron po tayong policy, okay, yung LSA code or uh, damay rin natin yung SOLAS code, okay, in repairing your lifeboat. But usually, kapag ka talagang basag na basag na yung lifeboat, dude, common sense, papalitan na yung buong lifeboat niya. Okay? Let's just say, kukontakin nyo si Norsafe. Okay, yung uh, gumagawa ng mga lifeboat ngayon. Okay, kukontakin nyo si Norsafe, eh, we need a new free for lifeboat. Uh, hindi kami aalis dito, okay, hanggat hindi ninyo pinapadala ang aming free for lifeboat. Okay, and ang pag-ship po ng free for lifeboat, hindi po yan talagang bumabiyay na bangka. Ah. Binabiyay nila yung lifeboat, ano, 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 hindi po ganoon. But again, ship po, nakasakay sa truck yung uh, free for lifeboat and then i-stow nila dun sa port kung nasaan yung uh, barko mo and then they would contact your officer uh, your uh, agency and then your ship chandler okay ah uh, sorry mali nagkamali ako kukontakin nila ang inyong opisina pangalawa is ang inyong charterer pangatlo is ang inyong ship chandler and they will contact ang barko well, specifically si third mate and si chief mate okay so again ito po ang pag-process okay so you have to check Build skills, okay? Okay, paki-check din po yung build skills. Walang kalawang, not corroded and effectively attached ang build skill. Walang walang crack, walang kalawang or something. Okay, kasi minsan kasi kapag ka nabasa lang ng konting seawater, okay, yung mga build skills is parang nagkakaumbok-umbok na nagkakaroon ng uh, corrosion. So you have to watch over it, okay? And yung grab lines, okay? Yung grab lines po sa gilid, okay? Yung may tali po tayo sa gilid, ha? ang grab lines po is effectively attached. Yung grab lines po is nasa gilid po yan ng inyong lifeboat. So, I, I'll post a picture here if I could find in my uh, archive. Okay? So, yung uh, grab lines is nasa gilid. So, kailangan maayos po yung pagkakasplice. Okay? Kung may naputol man po, palitan. Okay? Pagpalit, okay? Isplice po ninyo. Okay? So that's number one regarding sa structure. Okay, you have to check first yung structure. Okay, yung hull is in good condition. Number two is connections to boat or rafts is in good condition. Yung hanging hooks, may hooks po sa uh, likuran. Okay, para ma-attach po yung free for life boat sa barko. Okay, and yung kill plate connections and pins in good condition. Again, magkakal-connect po sila sa bilge kill. Make sure po na walang corrosion, walang kalawang or something. Okay. So again, that's last in the structural side, okay? So again, ulitin ko lamang po, ha, two things po ang kailangan, okay, sa structure, sa structural side, okay? Number one is hull is in good condition. Number two is connections to boat or rafts is in good condition, okay? Now, next naman natin na kailangan i-check sa free for lifeboat or sa any type ng lifeboat in general, okay? Next is the engine, okay? We have to check na ang ating makina, number one, okay, is... Well, it starts readily. Mabilis po mag-start yung makina nung inyong free fall lifeboat. 
Okay? So, hindi po pa pwede na ang inyong free for life boat is pagka turn mo ng power, tapos in-start mo yung makina, wala. Okay? Hangin ang lumalabas. Hindi, or, hindi ganun kalakas yung uh, pagkaroon ng combustion sa loob ng chamber. Hindi po pwedeng ganun. So, that means may lack of maintenance po ang inyong free for life boat. Again, ito po, dapat po tinitest po ninyo ang inyong uh, free for life boat at least 3 times a month. Okay? I mean, usually kasi very busy ang schedule sa barko. So, at least minimum 3 times a month. Okay? Next is, ang battery natin, okay, kailangan po naka-connect and charged. Okay? Next po na kailangan i-check natin sa ating free for life boat is ang ating battery. Kailangan naka-connect. Okay? Naka-connect po ang ating uh, baterya and naka-charge. Okay? Because, again, para sa isang makina, sa isang uh, internal combustion engine, para po mag-start, kailangan po meron kang electricity. Kailangan may power ang baterya. Okay? At ang baterya po, naka-connect po yan sa barko. Okay? Next natin is, batteries tested to ensure charge, alternative starting, arrangement present. Okay? Or yung mano-mano po na ini-start ang inyong lifeboat. Okay, so ibig sabihin po, meron pong mabilisang way and meron po yung manumanong way. So, kailangan gumagana rin po yun. Okay? Next natin is exhaust protected. Okay? Kung insulated yung type. Okay? Next naman is sufficient fuel and no leaks of fuel or lube oil. Okay? Again po, sa mga, engine sa mga engineers na po ito, pero ikaw as a third bait, kailangan alam mo rin ito. Kailangan walang leak ang, let's say, walang lube oil. Okay? Walang kalat ng engine oil sa inyong uh, uh, engine bay. Okay? Kasi, of course, may engine bay din naman po ang free for life boat. Pero, uh, hindi engine bay ang uh, ang correct term. Okay? Pero, at least sa mga hindi pa nakakasang panambar ko, at least nagagets mo yung uh, sinasabi ko. Okay? So, again, meron kang sufficient fuel. Okay? Na top up of, top up yung uh, fuels. Okay? Yung uh, engine oil din as well. Ang engine oil po, iba po ang fuel oil sa engine oil. Okay? Ang fuel oil po, yun po yung nagpapa, okay, yun yung nagpapatak po sa makina. Ang lube oil, well, from the name itself, lubricating oil. Okay? It lubricates your parts your uh, your your parts sa loob ng isang internal combustion engine. Okay? So, yun po yung pinaka simpleng paliwanag because again, the complicated terms are in the engineering side. So, ahaba tayo. Okay? Tsaka at the same time, okay? Although alam ko yung mga complicated na terms pero technically hindi ko naman nagamit sa barko as a third officer. Okay? So, again, yun yung madaling part, okay? So, th so that's the last thing about sa engine. Next naman natin na kailangan i-check, okay? Now, we go to the general side ng free for lifeboat or ng any type of lifeboat. We will go to the general side that you need to check as a third officer, okay? Next is rudder and stock in good working order. Kailangan po ang inyong rudder, okay? Kailangan po nagagalaw. Tsaka yung, ito po yung rudder, okay? For those of you who don't know, ito po yung rudder. Halimbawa, itong kamay ko, ha? ang rudder po is yan po yung nag-guide sa barko. Okay? Now, ang stock po is yung parang may tubo po kung saan nag-guide ang, uh, kung saan po nakakunek ang rudder and then, doon nanggagaling ang inyong helm order. Okay? Parang tubo po yan. Okay? And then, saka po liliko yung inyong rudder. Okay? Nandito yung con connection niya. Parang shaft. Okay? So, again, rudder and stock in good working order. Kailangan napapractice. Hindi mahirap iliko or maybe walang parang nag-uumbok-umbok. Okay? Next naman is hook release mechanism well maintained. Ang hook mechanism, okay, meron po tayong tinatawag na onload and offload release. At the same time din naman, yun po yung onload and offload hook. Meron din naman po tayo na uh, yung uh, release po natin dito sa 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 uh, lifting traverse. May lifting traverse po tayo na tinatawag. Okay? So, yung hook po nun is well, let's just say na well maintained. O yung hook release mechanism niya. Pag tinanggal mo yung hook release, Again, mabilis lang siyang, again, again mabilis lang siyang ma-release. Okay, that's the simplest word na I could give sa'yo right now. So again, these are all just basic familiarizations, okay? Next naman natin is brake release management, oh, sorry, brake release arrangement functions correctly. Okay, meron po tayong brake release arrangement. Okay, ito po yung kapag, ka, let's just say, gusto mong mano-mano. Okay, pag uh, gusto mong i-manually launch, by David ang isang uh, free for life boat alimbawa okay so from my experience kasi free for life boat ako so pwede mong uh, by David and then pwede mong kontrolin nyo ng uh, lever so kapag ka up 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 brake 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 uh, bira konti bira konti so yun yung parang brakes nya ang area is forward ang bira is back uh, pa reverse pa pabalik so ngayon kung gusto ko siyang birahin pabalik okay 
hindi po siya bibigay. Okay, maayos. Pag sinabi kong break, break. Pag ginawa ko itong uh, uh, break, titigil yung buong uh, uh, lifting. Okay? So, next naman natin is bilge pump in good condition. Okay? Again po, meron din po tayong bilge pump sa barko. Halimbawa lang po, okay, nasa tubig na ang inyong free for lifeboat. And then, may nakapasok na tubig, probably umulan, okay, nakalimutan isa rin yung ventilation. So, at least, kung in case man, in case man, okay, na merong tubig sa loob ng free for lifeboat, gumagana ang suction sa loob. Okay? Next is plugs, operable and free but permanently attached. Okay, may mga plug po tayo sa loob ng ating uh, free for lifeboat or sa ating lifeboat. Okay, damay ko na rin yung plugs para sa mga pagkain, sa mga materials, and nasa flooring po yun. Okay, kailangan maayos siya. Okay, lifeboat painter in good condition and correctly rigged. Next naman natin is all markings clear and visible including seat markings. Okay, ang mga markings po sa barko, ang lifeboat arrangement po sa barko, may mga markings po yan para kay third mate, para kay the cadet, para kay boson, para kay AB, may markings po yan. Okay, meron po yung markings. So, again, dapat maayos po yung markings. At the same time din naman po, meron po tayong retro-reflective light na tinatawag. Okay, kailangan po may retro-reflective light sa labas ng inyong lifeboat para po makita. Solace reflective tape. Okay, meron po yung solace reflective tape. Okay, na standard po yan na na-order sa IMPA and required po yan sa ating barko. Okay, so ilalagay mo yan sa labas ng inyong lifeboat. Okay, para of course, syempre, paggabi, makikita. Hindi lang basta orange yung makikita, but also reflective tape. Kapag ka, again, na-shine ka ng ilaw, magsha-shine po yung... Uh, uh, pag na-shine na, na, na ka ng ilaw, of course, magliliwanag po yung inyong tape. Okay, so halos pa ulit-ulit and then. Okay, next is grab rails and lanyards in good condition. Again, nabanggit ko nga kanina. Onboard air system were provided in good order. Now, in our case, wala kaming uh, onboard air system. Talagang yung natural ventilation lang. However po, may mga barko po tayo. May mga barko po tayo na merong onboard na uh, air system. So, again, gumagana po yung compressor. Gumagana po yung motor. Okay, walang bara yung filter. Malinis po yung filter. Especially po pag nagdi-drill. Baka mamaya nakalimutan po nilang linisin nila third. Third mate, okay, yung uh, inyong uh, filter. Pero usually kasi sila third engineer, mga makinista ang naglilinis nito. Yung mga uh, complicated na uh, engineering part, usually ang mga engineers ang gumagamit niyan. Ang, ang nagche-check nun, I should say. Okay? So, next naman natin is, well, overall water spray systems were provided, tested, and operational. Again, yung overall water systems po, usually po, galing po yan sa mga tanker. Okay, sa mga tanker po na barko, eh, in case man po may oil fire sa seawater, okay, yung, yung, uh, oil, yung, yung mist or yung spray ng water is nasa gilid, gum gumagana po yun. Wala pong ganyan, wala pa po ako nakikitang uh, free fall lifeboat or lifeboat na merong uh, tinatawag na water spray. Okay, it's usually sa tanker lang yan. Okay? Next, naman natin is operational instructions correctly displayed inside and outside boats. Now, meron po tayong nakalagay dapat na papaano ba i-launch or i-start. I should say, unahin ko muna yung start and i-launch ang inyong lifeboat. Paano i-secure ang sarili mo sa loob ng lifeboat? And then, paano mo i-start or ipaprime ang engine ng inyong lifeboat? And then, papaano mo i-re-release ang inyong Uh, lifeboat, kailangan po nakalaminate and nakapost po yan okay, or naka, naka parang plastic envelope nakapost po yan doon sa inyong lifeboat sa, sa gilid po ng ano ha, sa gilid po ng driver seat may, doon po namin nilalagay ang aming mga ins onboard instructions, okay and last but not the least is VHF radio telephone were provided in good order again po, ang VHF radio po natin para po sa uh, free fall lifeboat, okay, eh, that's what we use sa emergency, okay, ang amin po kasi ang ginagamit namin is meron kaming uh, dilaw na VHF radio. Now, yung may mga types kasi ng uh, different na VHFs na low frequency and higher frequency. So, again, we use yung low frequency because mas malaki ang uh, range nito. Now, etong topic na to sa GMDSS po ito, hindi ko po itatake na dito because safety lang po tayo, familiarization lang po tayo sa safety. But, meron po tayong low frequency na radio 
and that's what because mas mataas po ang span non okay ang na, 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 na ang kayang ang kayang range non okay mas mataas po ang range non of delivery kesa po dun sa ordinary lang na VHF okay so again those are the uh, things that you need to consider when you are well checking yung inyong lifeboat again ulit ko na sa VHF kailangan po gumagana okay gumagana po ang inyong lifeboat okay and the, the materials walang basag kompleto kayo sa equipment again sana po may natutunan kayo again I would be very much happy if you click like and comment or maybe subscribe. Okay, maraming maraming salamat po for watching this video. Again, hope you've learned something new. Be happy, be healthy, and most importantly, to God be all the glory. Again, familiarization na po ng... Again, ulitin ko lamang po ha. Again, familiarization lamang po itong video na ito. So, I'm fully aware na hindi ko po na ipakita sa inyong lahat. Pero at least, yung basics is naibigay ko na sa iyo. So, yung kaba mo ngayon, less na lang. Okay? Hope you've learned something new, be happy, be healthy, and most importantly, to God be all the glory. Keep safe.